Hi, my name is Stacy with Hex Inverter. Today I'm going to be showing you the VCNO. VCNO stands for Voltage Controlled Noise Oscillator. It's sort of like a VCO, except it creates noise. This will be a technical demonstration, so don't expect anything too musical here. Uh, you can refer to the audio samples for compositions made with VCNO. Where VCNO differs from something like a standard transistor noise source is that it uses it, what's called a Linear Feedback Shift Register, or LFSR for short. So instead of using the analog noise from a transistor or something of that sort, it generates noise to our ears by using a single one-bit um, square wave, essentially. This method of generating noise is actually what was used in vintage computers um, so that you could software control the noise. Um, these computers, uh, it would have been a lot more difficult to control, say, the noise from uh, an analog noise source. So it, it was implemented often in software or with uh, with discrete logic the way that we've done here. A very famous example is in the SID chip, which was in the Commodore 64. So we're going to start out by listening to the main AC output, which I've plugged into here. That's the audio coupled main tap of the LFSR. At maximum pitch, as we can certainly hear right now, what you hear is pure white noise. The VCO inside of VCNO, which clocks the shift register, runs at up to about half a megahertz. So the actual signals we hear in our ears is full audio spectrum white noise. Where things get interesting and in how this differs quite a lot from, uh, say, a transistor-based white noise source is when you modulate the pitch. As you bring it down, you probably recognize sounds like this from vintage video games. And if we look on the oscilloscope screen, you can actually see that it's simply square waves. These square waves occur at pseudo-random times. So in case you don't believe me that a digital LFSR can generate what sounds like analog white noise to our ears, I'm going to show you on the oscilloscope using the averaging function. This is essentially what our ears do. So if you watch the scope screen as the pitch is turned up, so right now it's pretty crunchy. You can see the edges to it. But once we get full spectrum, you'll notice it looks just like an analog white noise signal. What really makes VCNO unique is that it has multiple noise outputs sim simultaneously, much in the same way that in a multi-oscillator uh, VCO might have multiple waveform outputs all running at the same frequency. Um, right now we're just listening to the main LFSR, which is kind of a classic sound, but we've developed uh, multiple completely different circuits that are uh, based on the main LFSR sound. Let's take a listen to those in the series. So, we've called these the abstract outputs. So, this is Screech. It may not be immediately obvious, but maybe when I switch back and forth between the two, you'll hear the difference. has a switch on the back of the module which allows you to select the pitch which the screech runs at at the same time as the main output. So right now it's set lower than the main output so simultaneously you actually have a higher main LFSR output and the screech output which is lower. Uh, so if we fix the pitch say around here we're hearing the screech output now. 
but if we listen to the main output, it's more, it's closer, it's pure white noise. So you can get a lot of interesting effects by combining all of the outputs together and creating complex noise sounds. The next output we're going to look at is sizzle. We're listening to it now, and when the sizzle control is turned to maximum, it sounds just like the white noise which is coming out of the main LFSR generator. So what the sizzle output does is as you turn it down, it lets less and less bits of the white noise through. If you look on the oscilloscope, you can see it just starts to look like little blips here and there. This is good for creating sort of final crackle sounds. This is a fairly unique output when modulating because it requires full spectrum white noise to kind of create this final crackle sound. So as we turn the pitch of the main LFSR down, you'll actually hear that it starts to sound more like crunchy tones as we turn it down. So with modulation applied to the pitch, you can go from this, these crunchy sounds, into kind of a muted crackle. Finally, for the abstract outputs, we have the terror output. Like the other abstract outputs, it sounds pretty much just like analog white noise at full pitch. Where things get interesting is when you start to bring the pitch down and apply modulation. It also has a clock input. This provides quite a lot of utility to the module as it creates random on-off or bit patterns. If you apply your own clock, it replaces the internal pitch generator. And this lets you use, say, the clock that's clocking your sequencer. And at the DC output, which is the DC coupled output, you will simply generate pseudo-random patterns. This is really fun for triggering things like hi-hats and cymbals and rim shots and other stuff and drum patterns. So we've kind of walked through most of the features of VCNO. I mentioned earlier that the real unique aspect of VCNO comes when you start combining its abstract and main LFSR outputs and patches. So I've got something, nothing too crazy going on here. I have some LFO modulation into the Red Dragon filter. I have some modulation going into the pitch of VCNO and I'm running that all into different channels of a mixer and uh, modulating the pan of one of the VCNO outputs. I'm really only using a couple of LFOs and mixer channels here, so things get really fun when you start combining different types of filters and modulation throughout your patch. Uh, you get some interesting sounds out of combining the outputs of VCNO. So that's pretty much it for this technical demonstration. Um, I'll leave it to artists and musicians to make things that are a little bit more interesting to listen to. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you find that you can create quite a few interesting noise sounds in your system. Of